Welcome or welcome back at C Square. In this uh, video clip, we're gonna talk about what is called the chain rule. And you see, see here the first three example here. We can do them without the chain rule using some other rules. If you watch my channel, you can find the example how to handle problem like this. However, when you go to expression like this, you need to use the chain rule. If you notice. Uh, there is a relationship between all these functions, uh, but you can still need a different way to approach the derivative of this function. And like I said, this is what we call the chain rule, what we're going to use to do the derivative. And if you notice here, we have two form, this one and this one, they are the same, a different way to approach. For example, here you may want to see this expression like u to the fifth power and then do the derivative of uh, y with respect of u which is a uh, we use the power rule and then you do the derivative of u with respect of x which is going to be nothing else than this x squared plus one uh, the same story here you can do cosine of u and do the derivative with respect of u of of y with u and then multiply by the derivative of u with respect of x and the same for the last one i usually tend to use the last form which tells us to do the derivative of the outside function how i call it f of g of x and then multiply by the derivative of the inside function g prime of x how you see it here so let's see how i use this uh, chain rule in the next three example and uh, in this first example i need to find the derivative with respect of x of uh, x squared plus one to the fifth power and like i said first of all you want to look to this one like a power rule u to the fifth power and what is the derivative of u to the fifth power is going to be five u to the four power by you remember it's nothing else than x squared plus one so we're going to have five times x squared plus one to the four power times the derivative of with respect of x let me be sure of the inside function which is x squared plus one so we have here five times the quantity x squared plus one to the fourth power times and the derivative of x squared plus one is nothing else than 2x the last step will be to simplify this expression and rearrange it so in this case you have 10 x times the quantity x squared plus 1 to the 4 power this would be y prime or dy over dx and like i said i use this rule you see down here let's go to the next example which asks us to find the derivative with respect of x of cosine of 3x so we're gonna have here the outside function first it's cosine so what is the derivative of cosine the derivative of cosine is negative sine so i'm going to write here negative sine of 3x remember it has to be the same expression 3x in this case times and now the derivative with respect of x of the inside function which in this case is 3x. So we're going to have here negative sine of 3x times 3. And the last step would be to simplify, to rearrange, in fact, negative 3 sine of 3x. And this is dy over dx or y prime. And again, I use these rules you see here. And the last example in this video clip is this one. And again, I'm going to use the chain rule to find dy over dx or y prime. 
in this case you have the derivative with respect of x of square root of x squared minus 1 and here the first thing you want to do is the derivative of a square root right so it's one of the derivative that I'll suggest you to remember it's 1 over 2 square root of whatever you have in this case x squared minus 1 so this was the derivative of the um, outside function times the derivative with respect of x of the inside function which is x squared minus 1 so my next step will be to do the derivative 1 over 2 square root of x squared minus 1 and the derivative of x squared minus 1 is 2x we can do some simplification here 2 and 2 cancel out and the final form will be x over square root of x squared minus 1 this is dy over dx or y prime and again i use this chain rule if you enjoyed this video clip don't forget to click the like button and come back on c square for more help thank you